if you just going crazy at your mom just because you got money, you feel me, that, that fame is, you feel like, you know what I'm saying? You can treat your mom or your dad any type of way because you got money. You like the breadwinner type? Nah. If I don't do what Kentrell say, exactly. he won't yeah. do it. You know, he, he ain't gonna do it. Like, and I ain't finna be robot. I'm a grown motherfucking woman. I didn't have you. You didn't make me. I made you. Just because you got money don't mean nothing, sir. You see what happened to Big Jook? He thought he had money. Thought he had a, you know what I'm saying? Right around people uh, sur surrounded him. Bro, yo Gotti's his brother. Don't matter. Look at Nipsey, bro, from the hometown. He was doing good for the city. Putting on. His, I, bro, come on, man. You're not the baddest. You're not the craziest. You're not the weirdest. You're not the most psychotic. There's somebody out there that's more badder than you, and that goes for that person and somebody out there more badder than them. Period, point blank. What's poppin' GE Gang, it's your boy Foos nigga. Back with another video, back with another reaction video, you feel me? Hey, check me out, man. I got a, uh, a good amount of DMs, bro. Uh, people want me to knock out a video about uh, NBA Youngboy after he posted on his uh, on his uh, Instagram, I believe, of some shit uh, of him laying next to a, a bottle of pills and some lean and a cup, you feel me? So uh, they want me to chime in on my opinion of what I think about NBA Youngboy, so that's what we're about to get into. So if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, man. Go ahead and give me that like button. If you like what I do on the channel, you like the reaction video, then you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Straight like that. You find the value I bring to you when I do reaction because ain't nobody doing it like me. <laughs> yeah, straight like that. Yeah, let's go. I ain't gonna hold you boys, man. We're gonna get straight to the video, man, because you know, we got more talk. We got we gotta knock out multiple videos. So let's go ahead, tap into the video, man. Give you my opinion on NBA Young Boy and what he got going on type. We're going to give you this little disclaimer real quick, though. From sliding on rappers' blocks to attacking a fan, these are NBA Youngboy's most disrespectful moments. Starting with the time NBA Youngboy got completely disrespectful with his mom. Because in 2018, he went live on Instagram with DJ Academics and told Academics how he never had a mama or a dad in his life. And look where I came from. I ain't never had no daddy. And I ain't never had no mama, and my mama living. Not long after the live, another live surfaced on the internet of young boy Whoa. throwing his mom. Straight like that, bro. Like, first of all, I don't know too many. Let's see how I want to put this. Too many dudes, they just uh, disrespect their mom just out the blue. Now, if your mom doing something to you, you are speaking battle your name or whatever the case. Then you know you got the right to defend yourself just because your uh, just because she's your mom don't make her right. You feel me? But um, if you just going crazy at your mom just because you got money, you feel me? That that fame is you feel like you know what I'm saying you can treat your mom or your dad any type of way because you got money. You like the breadwinner type? Nah, that ain't that ain't that ain't rocking. You feel me? So um, I ain't rocking with nothing like that where you go at your parents. You know what I'm saying? Your, you wouldn't even be here without your parents. You feel me? So how you talk crazy and in public? On TV and interviews, you talking crazy to your mom, letting the whole world see? Yeah, all right. I'm out of the house he bought for her since he didn't want her going live on Instagram. After this, oh, he young boy's mom came by the video, his mama? letting everyone know she was not going to let her son control her life just because he has money. If I don't do what Kentrell say, exactly. he won't yeah. do it. You know, he, he ain't gonna do it. Like, and I ain't finna be robot. I'm a grown motherfucking woman. I didn't have you. You didn't make me. I made you. Young boy right. got disrespectful I, I with a fan too one at sure. one of his shows in South Carolina because a video of the show shows Young Boy performing the song War with Us with fans surrounding him. And in the middle of the performance, a fan jumps up to touch Young Boy. So Young Boy took the chain off, and either the same fan or someone else tried to snatch the chain out of his hand. Without hesitating for a second, Young Boy rocks the dude in the face. And after a few seconds, Young Boy is back to performing. He starts holding the chain up in front of the crowd, daring anyone to reach for it. But during a different show, Young Boy lent a Peace to his own boy and wasn't so lucky. After a performance in Greensboro, North Carolina, Young Boy stopped the show to announce that he was mad since someone stole a chain from his partner. You see that chain? Hey, you see that chain you just took out my partner, Nick? Hey, that chain you just took out my partner, Nick, that ain't his chain. That's my chain. I ain't really tripping off that. I got too much money. Man, I shoot this bitch up safe. He's clearly pissed and even threatens to hit a female fan who had gotten on the stage after he stopped performing. Hey, get the back. I don't know you get the 
No one was stupid enough to openly admit that they stole the chain in a room full of crazy fans and his entourage. But TMZ let. Bro, listen, bro. I'm going to forever say this, right? Like, NBA Youngboy got all his money, right? And he talk, the way he talked to people is reckless. You feel me? And I put up a short, um, I put up a short two days ago, bro. And it's like, you not the craziest person in the world, sir, ma'am, whoever. Is somebody out there more crazier than you? Is somebody out there that ain't got nothing to lose that's willing to, to lose what they, you know what I'm saying? They're willing to lose it all because they ain't got really much, nothing to lose. You feel me? You're not the craziest. You're not the baddest. You can't, you, you're saying you can't get shot and, and, and take bullets. You know what I'm saying? You're not Superman type. So my thing is, bro, like, it'd be crazy because I sit back and I watch it. I watch it. I watch it like this. The people that sit up there, the way he's talking, like he the baddest in the whole world. Like can't nobody pop him from in the crowd and just he be laid out on the ground looking stupid. Bro, you not the baddest, bro. Just all that rah-rah talking and saying it all with your chest don't mean nothing, bro. It don't. Plenty of people that talk like that and think they the baddest get took out every day. Just because you got money don't mean nothing, sir. You see what happened to Big Jook? He thought he had money, thought he had a, you know what I'm saying? The right amount of people uh, sur surrounded him. Bro, Yo Gotti's his brother. Don't matter. Look at Nipsey, bro, from the hometown. He was doing good for the city. Putting on. I, bro, come on, man. You're not the baddest. You're not the craziest. You're not the weirdest. You're not the most psychotic. There's somebody out there that's more badder than you, and that goes for that person. There's somebody out there more badder than them. Period. Point blank. So I, when I look at when I look at stuff like this and I see people act like this, I'm just like, boy, like. Later reported that the guy who stole the chain wanted a twenty thousand dollar ransom for it to be returned. And since Young Boy's partner was lacking and let the chain get snatched off his neck, Young Boy went on Instagram the next day, humiliating his friend since he let that happen to him. You ain't snake off my neck. You snatched it off his neck. Look at the camera with your scam. Let this snatch my chain off your neck. That isn't the only friend of his that he's straight friend, up like that, because that ain't young really boy your, your got friend. very disrespectful with his homie No Cap. Because in late 2022, a fan hopped on Twitter and told No Cap to drop some new with Top. And since No Cap is still trying to blow up, he responded, let me go up on my own first, because I don't need everybody saying I use Top to get big. We will do music later. But for some reason, that tweet set young boy off and made him get very disrespectful with No Cap. Young boy hopped on IG and told No Cap, you were but I call a real rapper. We don't do music because I don't with you. He would get even more disrespectful saying, you're a worker. You ain't my brother. You pay me. And No Cap was shocked by the reaction. So he responded with a post explaining how he held it down for Young Boy for three years while he picks fights with everyone in the industry. Plus, Young Boy supposedly wanted No Cap to pay him for a feature. Fans were shocked since Young Boy was charging his own artist for a feature. After No Cap's response, Young Boy sent more disrespectful shots, calling him broke and all, saying, I'm holding over here. You ain't even got 300K for your tax bill, clown. Just protect yourself. Young Boy also said to No Cap, you ran with me because that's supposed to be his homeboy, though, right? But he talking to him reckless like that, bro. Some people out here better than me, bro. Because I, I gotta listen. I'm the most chill person ever. You really gotta mess with me and do say something and do something crazy for me to get out of character. But just looking at the way that he acting toward people, I'm going to jail, bro. One of us ain't walking out this room. I'm one thing being from LA, bro. We is. We was about our respect. That's that's the number one thing. When I'm at my job, and them dudes try to think they could talk to me crazy, I let them, bro. I'm about listen. You talk to me a certain way, chairs gonna start flying, bro. I'm just not with the disrespect. I don't care if you're the owner, the boss, the manager. I don't care, bro. Don't don't. I got kids. You're not gonna talk to me like I'm a kid. You feel me? I don't care. The job. I can go get another job. I'm the worker. I, I'm I'm a hard worker. I'm gonna do that anywhere. You're not gonna think you got me back into a, a box because I'm at this job making money. It ain't going to happen. So I just try to stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want no problems because I don't want to lose my job because over my respect, I'll lose it all. You feel me? So um, that ain't really his friend, bro. He There's people he is associated with. At the end of the day, bro, it's, it's like NBA young boy is like he's soulless. 
You feel me? Just that the nigga ain't never he ain't never happy. Like he'll smile for two seconds and the and the light go right into some mean mugging and I'm about that. You know what I'm saying? Like the nigga he just ain't got it. He ain't got it all. What the, what the, what's that uh that movie Life Can't Get Right? That's him. Ain't that young boys can't get right. Cause I was popping at the moment. Hit the fan, you couldn't even take a picture with Kwando. No cap ain't even respond, but young boy Lakers, wasn't finishing. Lakers, uh, Cause a while ago, uh, people uh, thought no cap hard. was dissing little Dirk. But no cap hopped online to squash the rumors. He said, Me and Dirk might not conversate, but I don't speak on his name. He don't speak on mine. Young boy would throw the situation up in no cap's face and said it shouldn't even matter if people thought he was dissing an op. Then he called no cap a uh, no cap would defend himself about not being broke and told young boy to get his dog a lawyer then since he's so rich and no one knows why young boy got that disrespectful with no cap but some fans think it's all over no cap not hopping in young boy's beef with Lil dirk fans were also confused when young boy was disrespectful to money bag yo in 2017 because young boy and money bag yo were known to be cool with each other especially since they dropped the collaboration mixtape together but moments later after the tape dropped young boy went to instagram talking disrespectful about the tape and money bag that tape and I won't smoke bitch. I ain't playing on my son call y'all too and I'm cool. That's all I'm about this shit. And no one knows the reason behind that post, but things were pretty serious because Young Boy's crew allegedly got into an altercation with Moneybag's crew when they saw each other in the mall. And that mall incident wasn't anything compared to what Young Boy did to one of his DJs. Because in 2018, Young Boy and Quando were at a show in Florence, South Carolina, and the show ended up getting canceled, so everyone was chilling backstage. But out of nowhere, Quando and Young Boy randomly started to jump the DJ. And they did him very bad. The DJ couldn't do much, and other members of his team tried to hold Youngboy back during this incident. A few months later, news came out that the DJ was suing Youngboy and Quan. You telling me he got down on his own on his own DJ? That's how you know he ain't got it on, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I f somebody got to teach these boys a lesson, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, cause to all that talking reckless don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean nothing. It don't mean you the baddest. I ain't seen you do nothing. All I seen you is talk. But you talking like you the biggest monster in the world, sir. I promise you, you not. That soldier boy over there talking crazy. The blue face, you know what I'm saying? Him and blue face going at it, whatever. They was going at it. And even, I think two days ago, I saw something about uh, soldier boy going at blue face and saying he dropping a soap in, in prison and stuff. But, well, you know, soldier boy can't fight. I don't, he he got the biggest bark. Like that boy can't fight. Blueface, he really be boxing. Blueface will light him up. And I'm not even no Blueface uh, Blueface fan, but I'm just saying, the people that bark the loudest. Hear me out. The people that bark the loudest are the ones that be laying on the ground, bro. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I stay. I'm I'm quiet. I've always been like that my whole life. You know what I'm saying? They say you know you ever heard that saying? Don't mess with the quiet one. I was always a quiet one because then you get that built up energy and then you just unleash. You know what I'm saying? I don't mess with nobody because I don't want to go to jail. That It ain't cool. I don't want to be away from my family. I want to eat what I want to eat. I don't want to be in a cell with somebody else. Ask me a million questions. I've been there, done that. It ain't cool. Saying I'm with a prisoner in jail ain't cool. Have somebody tell you when to go to sleep and when to wake up ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? So I stay out the way. You can think whatever about me. Just, just stay out my face. You feel me? I don't care what you say about me. I ain't, it don't mean nothing. And I'm not trying to act like I'm the baddest. Because I know I'm not. I know somebody out there bigger and better than me, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But for mine, I'm going to get down. But you got really, you really got to do something to get me there, to get me out of character. The people that stay in character, they get farther in life. The people that's always, they just looking for trouble, they going to find it. Always, always. In court papers, the DJ also revealed that the show was canceled since Young Boy got into a fight with someone in the crowd. So everyone on the stage at the time left to go backstage. That's when Quando told the DJ to go back to the stage. That's when Quando and Young Boy started attacking him for no reason. The DJ said he was left with a broken tooth and many more serious injuries. But that wasn't the only DJ that Young Boy got disrespectful with. Also, subscribe right quick. But back to the point. DJ Flip was on an interview with No Jumper and explained how Young Boy got disrespectful and kicked him out of his own studio. Wait, wait, hold on. Why did he kick you out the studio? Bro, he was, I don't know what he was on that day. I f with him heavy though. So Boosie's like, yo, Flip, I need a studio. Boom, boom. Pulled up, got the studio ready for him. 
and then young boy pulled up and then he wanted to record and he just like he just like looking mad he was on the, he's cuddling on the couch and with his girl and then he's about to record and he's like exit he looked at me and said exit and i guess that isn't that bad compared to what happened next because it's one thing to diss a rapper and another to diss their wife because in 2022 when young boy and dirk were going back and forth with the diss tracks young boy decided to spice things up a notch and disrespect little dirk's wife as well because in the song i hate young boy he says he called me a that's india that'd be yo basically calling dirk's wife a but that wasn't the only time he disrespected her because earlier this year, after Lil Durk and India split up, a video of India dancing surfaced on social media. So not long after Youngboy saw the video, he tweeted trolling Durk and India saying, LOL, I know how it be when that turned to a demon. India would go on to reply to Youngboy saying, don't speak on me, I let you slide the first time. She continued saying, that's still my baby dad, I don't play about him. And Youngboy wasn't taking her seriously and tweeted, I know one thing, you ain't gonna mother playing with me basically let her know that it can still get ugly even though she's a girl india would tweet more about young boy since he made her mad and call him denthead and after calling him denthead young boy posted a snippet of a song trolling india yeah on may 8th young boy would also go on to diss india again when he announced his album because in the tweet he disrespects her by saying little dirk you a and yo nasty and it's shown and this time, India decided not to entertain the situation since she knows how disrespectful Youngboy can get. But that's nothing compared to what Youngboy did to Jay the Youngin. Jay was a huge fan and always spoke well on Youngboy. Right, In 2018, Jay, Jay even told DJ too. Vlad, I'm, I'm a fan of Youngboy music. He's dope. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna collaborate pretty soon and just and put on foul state and jay thought him and young boy were cool with each other because one day jay posted a snippet of a song he had with young boy on his instagram but yb wasn't rocking with it and commented delete that jay deleted the post and a couple weeks later he went live explaining he how he doesn't it? care about the song and he isn't going to let anyone disrespect him i'm a real and i stand on everything you hear me ain't gonna play with me ain't no gonna disrespect me and it just feel like they slide no <clears throat> I really like that. Then in 2020, Jay dropped the song 38K and exposed the situation. Because in the song, he said, you put that comment on my post. They laughed about that. But I was laughing when your baby mama got all on my. And it's rumored that after the diss, young boy and his crew slid on Jay and tried to get him whacked. You is be hiding. We real head hunters, man. Come on, man. Open their mouth, came to what they was, man. And you caught the cut and left, a, and left another fat man in the blind. Oh, uh, we, man, know what up with me, man. Quando even hopped in the situation and made fun of Jay for getting his jewelry taken. Hey, listen, cuz you got your shit took two f***ing times. You down there go to prison and How get your shit took. How many goddamn times that Quando gets his a wood. And not long after those he videos surfaced, Jay responded, what? letting everyone know that young boy and Quando were capping on his name. Young boy had another altercation at one of his shows in 2018. Because during the show, a fan was trolling around and throwing stuff on the stage. So young boy stopped the whole show to let the crowd know that he'll fight every <laughs> single person attending the concert. That boy is so real, bro. I don't know what's going on. Don't show the game of punch if it one down y'all. And after that, the fans chilled out since they knew how crazy Young Boy could get. But not all fans are scared of him because in 2018, Man, Young Boy was in LA. Out. Stop saying, stop saying that, bro. The crowd didn't do nothing because they know how crazy NBA. Bro, they not scared of NBA Young Boy. They scared of his, his entourage, his security, not him. And he look like he weigh about 90 pounds, bro. Cut it out. Nobody's scared of NBA Young Boy. He's not a. I can see how people are more scared of, of uh, uh, what's 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 old buddy's name? The cat that Quando, uh, Rondo Quando's homeboy killed. I don't know why I can't think of his name right now. He was really a demon in Chicago, but obviously, he's not the baddest. Cause what happened to him? I know he did his dirt, but look what happened to him. He got killed right by Quando Rondo's homeboy. You talk all that, you know what I'm saying? Then you you left leaking on the ground. Then it's like, who gets the last laugh? Y'all gonna y'all y'all gonna learn to be quiet, bro, because it ain't it ain't worth it. If you know you bad, bro, you ain't gotta go and say nothing. You ain't gotta speak it. If you know you bad, you if you know you got money, you don't gotta go 
tell the whole world you got money. I put it that simple as that. You know what I'm saying? It ran into a dude banging blood gang. And the dude tried to check young boy on the street, but young boy wasn't going for it because young boy and the other dude started yelling back and forth while young boy's manager held him back. You bang for the fame, I can't bang. You got all these around us. Man, we can't. If you buck, do something, you said, hold him. If you buck, do something, you got all these. Young boy kept telling the dude to pop off and do something, but the dude was too scared to do anything and was all cap since he knew how ugly it could get messing with young boy. But speaking on things Stop getting it. ugly, Stop it also got ugly when Lil Uzi saw Rich the Kid on the streets about, and made him run. So click this to see Times Rappers check up. What do you keep saying that for? What's gonna happen? NBA young boy gonna shoot somebody? He got millions of dollars. Oh well. He gonna go to jail for life. Who cares? Either that or he's going to get away with it somebody's going to pop him. It don't matter. Nobody's scared of nobody, bro. Ain't nobody God. Some, look, people are saying Dolph was talking crap and then Dolph got killed. You not the Dolph and Dolph wasn't walking around acting like he was the baddest. You know what I'm saying? He was really giving out money to his people, giving getting, uh, money to the kids. The two kids that got... uh. Uh, fired from that job at that at that uh, college because they was banging his music at uh, uh, at work. Flew him out, gave him twenty thousand dollars. Still got killed. Stop it with all that talking about how ugly it get with you and be a young boy. It can get ugly with anybody, sir. You could be the dorkiest person. You could pick up an AK and be the baddest at that point in time. I just hate that narrative. Somebody's that that. You got to be scared of somebody or that person don't mess with him. Like, he's the baddest person. Bro, if you're not a guy, you can miss me with all that, bro. But NBA young boy, man, he going to crash out, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on with him. Like, uh, Floyd Mayweather can't even get to him. You feel me? And he got he got a grand, you know, he, he dated his daughter. He got a grandson. Like, he be trying to reach out to him, but it don't seem like young, NBA young boy is taking to it. But I feel like NBA young boy soulless, bro, because it, it's like this nigga don't. He laugh and then two seconds later have a straight face. Like, what? He ain't living life. He got all this money. He ain't living life at all. He ain't having the fun. He ain't have. Tell me, somebody show me some goddamn footage of NBA young boy laughing for an hour or just laughing with his homeboys for hours, having fun, going to uh, NBA games, going to football games. You got all that money and can't even enjoy it. And I'm not saying money make you happy. But it seemed like the money to him makes it seem like he's untouchable and like he a king type. I could talk to my, I got all this much money. I could talk to my mama like that. He kicked somebody out of the studio, a producer out of the studio. It was his studio. And he didn't even say get out. He told that nigga, exit. <laughs> what? Bro, people be messing with the right ones, bro. They just do. I don't know. And then I guess some people really be scared of, of human beings. Scared of another human being is wild to me. So that's my take on it, man. Those were those were like ten of the, the most disrespectful uh, this, uh, NBA young boy things. I like that dude. He just I don't know. I feel like if you got kids and you saw NBA young boy uh, post that that uh, that picture on Instagram of him laying next to uh, to lean, the lean and the and the bot and the pills, you probably feel a certain way as a parent. If you're younger, you probably think it's cool. But it's not cool because you got to understand he got all these millions of followers and they looking up to him. Right or wrong. And it, and, and it ain't got to be nothing with the parents. The parents could be doing their job. And it'd be a lot of the white kids. You know what I'm saying? That got the money, the great parents. They, they got good jobs. They got, you know what I'm saying? Got money. But still following behind these celebrities. But the parents could be doing everything in the world. Paying for the best school. Home to cook dinner. Have dinner with the kids, but then they go online and see these rappers uh, doing drugs and lean, and then they they overdosing. So they gotta understand what comes. They know what comes with them. You can't be putting nothing like that on Instagram, bro. You, you just cannot. You cannot. You know what I'm saying? That was all bad. You feel me? Uh, and, and the fact that NBA young boy got like thirty thousand kids. Come on, bro. You gotta do better than that, man. I don't care. You old enough to know better than that.
You saying you grew up with no no daddy or no mama? Your mama was there the whole time. You just totally disrespecting her, bro. You soulless. You ain't even living life. You not enjoying none of that money. You not you not laughing. You not doing nothing, bro. You you really hurt deep down inside. All the anger you got, you hurt from something. And it's gonna get it's gonna get you in some real trouble one day. Cause you walk around here like you the biggest demon, and I promise you, you not. But that's my take on that uh, NBA young boy situation, man. I I really don't care for him. I really never been a fan of his music. I think I might have liked like one or two songs ever, but I ain't I ain't a fan of his music. I'm not a fan of him throwing that picture up on Instagram, put, promoting that to kids. A lot of people that follow him, I ain't with none of that, man. We we, bro, listen, gang, right? Only gang we messing with is going after new goals. That's we ain't on nothing else. We don't care about nothing else. We don't let nothing else affect us. You know what I'm saying? We move at our own accord. We never followers ever in life. Ever. Ever. You know what I'm saying? So go get your money, man. Take care of your family, man. Don't be out here following around these celebrities. You know what I'm saying? They regular human beings. When I say human beings, they regular humans. They walk the earth. They not God. They not up in the clouds in the skies. They're regular humans. Just because they got money don't mean nothing. They're not invincible. You see celebrities die every day. Right? You know what I'm saying? They just like us. So, come on, man. Get that, get it together. But it's your boy, Fushika, man. We're going to pop off to the next video, man. I'm going to go ahead and get this one ready for your boys. Um, And then I'm going to check my DM, man. We're going to slide on another video, man. Keep these mugs rolling. I got to cut out all my cussing. I got to cut it out, man, because YouTube do not like that at all. They demonetizing a bunch of my videos because I cuss a lot. So, I'm controlling it in this video, and I got to, moving forward, I got to try to watch my mouth because... I'm a cusser, you feel me? And, and it's, when it's starting to affect the money, I got to really scale back and really be aware of what I'm saying. So, it's your boy Fushigan, man. We out this month. Gone.